I don't think I've ever actually gone to the edge like this here. And um, I hate it. This makes me extremely unhappy. I just like hate space so much. Oh god, I can't believe that exists. Okay. We're gonna do strange transmission. <laughs> Cause that's Major Kyle, I think. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Oh. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. Oh, Got great. I love hearing from Major you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound in the Hulking Etta Cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance. Oh, and no. we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. Um, how about that he's speaking against the beautiful the Alliance? His followers killed him. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Yeah, well, you didn't seem to give him any help. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. He's an Alliance officer. And he's also, you know, her former commander, so she's not going to try for the violent approach for once. I don't know how aware she is that she she tries harder to be peaceful with people she respects instead of trying to be peaceful with everyone. I think she's aware of it. I think she's not quite fully aware of it though. A big thing to know about Beatrix is that she has no concept of self-reflection at this point. Like it doesn't even occur to her to attempt it. It's not even on her radar. So I think she discovers what it is to self-reflect at some point, and she tries it a couple times. <laughs> this is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. My name is Commander Shepard. Major Kyle knows me. I have to speak to him. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there.
looking at her butt. Butcher of Torfen. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind of father lets his children die? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. Come with me, Major. It's over. Wait! If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack, and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I think it would be better if you came with me now, Major. I must do everything I can to keep any more of my children from suffering. This is the only solution. And she's gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Garrus, butt out! Butt out, Garrus! It's none of your beeswax. <laughs> she doesn't really trust him, but... She has too much respect for him and in their past to to kill him at that moment, and I think that she believes that if need be, they could solve it. Like if he if he was lying, she'd be like, okay, well, I can go back and kill him. I like when there's no violence in missions. It's nice and Message refreshing. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Thanks, you're gonna throw me a party? I have a list of quests I want to do, of the, of the side quests, so I can remember what to do and also kind of spread them out throughout the playthrough, so I don't do all them all at once or not enough. So I was trying to figure out where the next one was.
I'll bring Ashley and I'll bring Tally. Girl squad. Actually, you know what? I think this is my least favorite uh, fight layout. Oh. Fuck. Forgot that was what this was. Am I a casual? I forget. Yeah. Well, I won't change that while I'm in here, because... I accidentally brought not my husk squad. I brought my no biag squad. At least Ashley's here. Tally's pretty useless against husks, though. Get over here! That's never a good sign. I wouldn't mind serving on a ship like this. Sleeping in this bed. I can sleep in pretty horrible surfaces. With ease. Probably not anymore. I used to be able to when I was younger. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then... This is really weird, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. I don't see anything about how they got back into human territory. Yeah. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the Vale. Possibly. I don't know if we got all the husks, so I'm gonna keep my gun out. Oops, that is not the way. Wonder what they were carrying with all of these crates. Oh, I guess I did get them all. Or did I? No, I didn't. That's good enough. Negative contacts, Commander. I believe it's this one. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. 
Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Yeah, Edie says transhumans in Mass Effect 3. It's like, I think she's referring to humans that have, uh, like, cybernetics and stuff incorporated into them. And I thought that was the only time that term was mentioned. But they just said it here. What are the biotics asking for? There are L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently, they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving him would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, I'm going to bring Kate in and um, bring Ashley too. It'd be nice if we could get to the chairman without killing a bunch of people, but isn't that always the case? Okay, Intruders. it's the same Kill thing. The we gotta get in the ah! Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot the bunch of biotics. Alright, looking for... Isn't there one over here? Won't get me next time. Probably will. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please! I was trying to help you people! Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret! Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the Chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for! But I've changed my mind! Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. If you die fighting, you'll get a lot of biotics killed as well. What do you mean? You've just made all L2 biotics look like terrorists. Think of what will happen to them. But people need to hear about what the government has done and what it has failed to do. People have heard. You've already accomplished that. You don't need to die for it. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. I don't like BHX's uh, argument up to this point, but I do like this response. Then you weren't doing your job. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to loot your ship. I love the atmosphere of these of these ships. 
the atmosphere in this game is just so incredible. It's show stopping, it's incredible, it's amazing, it's iconic, spooky. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Okay. Let's go to the Citadel now. Hand in some quests. Ashley and Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. First, let's go over to, let's talk to Jaleed, Jorben's guy, Jorben's partner, excuse me sir. Hey there, oh, you're not CSEC are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorben. He's a Salarian. Oh, Shorben. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorben. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. 
That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. I don't know why she'd get mad finding out that was against regulations, since that's like literally what Shorbin says to her when they meet. He's like, this is against regulations. Can you help me? Alright, let's go to the embassies now. Talk to Nasana. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead. I killed her myself. If you don't want to end up like her, start talking! No need to raise your voice, Commander. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. Do your own dirty work next time. I am sorry I wasn't honest with you. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I'm a specter, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. True. But I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Well, I'm sure that's the last time we'll see each other. Sometimes I don't quite understand why Nasana would assume that Shepard's coming to kill her in Mass Effect 2. But with Beatrix, I could see why that would happen. <laughs> if you found out she was in the building and she was killing people, you'd be like, Oh shit, she's here to kill me. <laughs> And then we're with the tower. If I was playing without recording it, I would probably not take fast travel. I like to just walk around the citadel, but I figured that isn't that interesting to to watch. So Hey Gareth, I have some good news and bad news. Except not good news. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. False hope doesn't do anybody any good. Maybe. But sometimes I think false hope is better than no hope at all. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Can we talk to Gohoku? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? They were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. Makes the sense. Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Oh, I could have talked to him about Baines. Oh, well. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out.
happen out in the open like that. Yeah, you're probably right. Like... Thanks. Gonna track that mysterious signal and also do uh, the Rita sisters quest. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. <laughs> well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, Kill her. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. We've got a chorus den. Beatrix will be very inelegant with her. Psst. Hey, I heard you were working undercover in this place that we're standing in right now. Tell me about it. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was all that about? I guess we better go find out. Can you not guess? <laughs> I wonder how many drunk people have fallen down there. We're trying to climb around. Okay, signal tracking. The first one I think is Ward's Access Corridor. Okay. God, it's so pretty. I can't even. I can't even express it. I can't express my love for this lighting. I can't. Gath are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. You're military, Chief Williams. They're civilians. Civilians never believe the enemy is coming until they're at the gates. I don't know if that's true. Here, here we are. You say we head down to Cora's Den after shift. Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. 
Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah, ugh, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace a new signal. Financial district, okay. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Sometimes it hits me how little I relate to these people. <laughs> Just in terms of... of their desire to fight. This is it. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. That could be a problem. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovery oh, like the Reapers. malfunction and terminated the AI. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oh yes, this complex puzzle. That definitely doesn't help Beatrix's fear of AI. It's interesting though, the AI creating another AI. Thinking about like the crucible and all that stuff. Like I know they weren't thinking about that, I don't think at this point, but
Detective Chellick, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chellick. As part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Come on, Chellick. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But, that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. This is just too much work. Come on, Commander. We're on the same side here. Um, she's not going to because she doesn't like cops and doesn't like CSEC. Sorry, Chalik. It's not gonna happen. Alright. I think we're done here, then. I'll have Jenna removed from Kor's den, just like I said. See yourself out when you're ready. Floor so shiny. Ouch, that would be very painful. Yeah, what is it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Does the device help me win? Nothing like my system eventually will, but it nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Hmm. What's up, Ash? Oh man, my sisters would love this place. Maybe when this is all over, I'll bring them here for a girls' night out. Oh, that sucks to hear. She won't do that. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Hey there, welcome to Flex. Okay, let's see if I can do this quickly. Okay. 
can see someone getting as lucky as you. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm gonna get the system completed. They've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. I'm guessing there's plenty of crime up here, Garrus. Probably just not... Not on the streets where you can see it. I like the Presidium in the first game. I mean, I don't... I wouldn't want to live here. But I, I think it really evokes that kind of feeling of, you know, bureaucratic, wealthy area. You know, versus in the third game, I think the Presidium is just extremely boring looking. But... Third game, I think it's just mainly because it looks like every other location. <laughs> one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. She's not on the seasick officer's side, because she doesn't like them, but she's also not on the Hanar's side. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. <laughs> I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable seasick officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. They always say that the Hanar are really polite, 
but I never get that from them because they seem just kind of sanctimonious and, and kind of condescending rather than polite. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. That's such an unpleasant conversation. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Honestly, mainly do that just so I can <laughs> have her yell at the CSEC officer. Okay, now let's, um... There he is. Okay. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea joke if you want but there were people who didn't believe in you and you worked out right I read about what you did on Torfin I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done Conrad you have no idea what it takes to get the job done what no please please don't hurt me why are you doing this this is how a gun in your face feels it happens to me every day you can't handle this I thought you were a hero. <laughs> Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Aw, oh, me too. I'm glad we finally agree on something, Conrad. Hey, Shorban. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. <laughs> I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I mean, she already finished it, but... 
Uh, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I shouldn't have picked that option, the second to last one, because it makes her sound like she doesn't care about the scientific value behind it. When she does, she's doing it for that reason and not for money. Okay, and I assume he's still at the CSEC. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. All right, let's go back to the Normandy. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Ashley, why are you posing like that? That's ridiculous. Who made you pose like that? Was it the animators? Stand, Stand by, by shore, shore party. party. Decontamination, Decontamination in progress. In progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Okay, now let's go to Novaria, everyone. Oh my god, it's so exciting. 